Hello friends, today we are going to study about circles. This is a circle and this is its center point. A circle divides the plane into three parts. Interior of the circle, exterior of the circle and on the circle. The distance from the center to the circle. This is the radius. If you take from this point to this point or this point to this, anywhere you take that will be the radius of the circle. If you, sorry, we can start. Two points on the circle will make a chord. This is a chord. The longest chord means this is the longest chord that is diameter of the circle chord also make arc this is minor arc and the remaining one this is the major arc of the circle we can divide a circle into parts in two ways look here I am showing you if we want to cut a pizza we will cut it like this or if you want to cut a cake then we will cut it like but if you want to bake break a biscuit we will not cut it like this we will make its part like this when we cut a pizza we will divide the circle into two parts that parts are called sectors this is called minor sector this is called major sector this is called sector minor and the remaining one that is major this is called segment and the remaining one is called major segment now we are going to study about the relation between a chord and a circle this is called AB and this is the center point of the circle if I construct a perpendicular from the chord sorry from the center on the chord then it will bisect the chord means AM will be equal to MB or we can say M is the midpoint of the chord when when we construct perpendicular and vice versa when we join a midpoint of the chord and the center of the circle when we draw a line means then it will be automatically perpendicular means here they had given us perpendicular we had constructed perpendicular and we got m is the midpoint and here m is the midpoint they had given and we joined with with the center and we got that it is perpendicular now there are many relations with this that we are going to study look at if two equal codes are given to us means AB is equal to CD then these equal chords will substance equal angle substance equal angles at the center we can prove this look here AO will be equals to AO yes, oh sorry AO will be equal to CO as they are the radius of the circle OB will be equal to OD and they said the chords are equal so AB will be equal to CD so by side 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 these two triangles are congruent and we can say that angle AOB is equal to angle COD by CPCT if equal chords are there then it subtends equal angles at the center and vice versa if two chords are subtending equal angles at the center means AB and CD is substanding equal angles at the center then we can say the chords are equal look here O here also we will here they had given the angles are equal and we have to prove that A uh, AB equals to CD means the chord again AO radius and radius OD OB radius and OD so by side angle side these two triangles are congruent and we can say AB equals to CD by CPCT now we are having a circle and we don't know its center point how we can find its center point 
look here I'm going to explain draw any of the two chords on the circle we don't know how much measurement of it is just we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of an A and B with the help of protector or, or rounder and we have to draw perpendicular bisector of AB it will go like this somewhere when then we have to draw perpendicular bisector of CD it will go like this where this both chord will intersect that will be your center point or you can say if three points are given to you and you can construct a tri uh, circle passing through all these three points what we have to, you have to do just you have to join this and then you have to construct perpendicular bisector of AB like this you will get then you have to construct perpendicular bisector of BC and this way where it will intersect, intersect that will be your center point taking OA as the radius you will try to draw a circle it will pass through all the three part I had made another video on how to find center of the circle if you want to watch it you can go in my videos and you can watch that also now we are going to study about the angles in the circle first of all I am going to tell you what is a cyclic quadrilateral if a quadrilateral whose all the four endpoints are on the circle then that quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral here they are, they are having some properties of a cyclic quadrilateral which make it very easy and that property is very useful to us so it will help us in long run look what is the property the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is always 180 means they make a sum of no, supplementary angles they are supplementary angles you can say sum is always 180 b plus d is always 180 degree this is the main property of a cyclic quadrilateral it is very useful to us now we are going to study about one of the theorems if a circle and a chord is given to you a B center point o. if they had given you that angle A O B is 100 degree if you construct any angle on the circle from that segment or from that two points that will be always half of the angle that is on the center means here it is 100 so on the circle it will be 50 degree not here only anywhere if you try to draw it like this way here here also it is 50 degree if you try to draw it here here also 50 degree anywhere if you want to draw it here here also 50 half on the circle and you vice versa means if it is here they had given you 25 degree then 50 on the center this is one of the property when the arc is on the angle is on the major arc now if a circle is given and a diameter is given a b can you guess what angle it will make on the circle yes it will make 90 degree how you can say that look here 100 was here so 50 now we know center point and this is a straight line so this angle is 180 degree so obviously it will make 90 degree on the circle so we can say yes, if you draw any angle in a semicircle it is always 90 degree on the circle now the third on the major arc this is little bit confusing and generally students are having problem in this only if a chord is given to you a b and then you have to find this angle and this one the center oh. you need this angle if you are having this one like look here here we are taking 100 180 and this side only we want and they told us so if they are giving you this suppose this is 160 degree 
then first you have to find this exterior angle 160 so the remaining will be 200 we know that the sum will be 360 degree angle so out of 360 160 we have to remove the, this will be 200 I and mean, if it is making angle AOB exterior of angle AOB is 200 so this will be under I think general students are having problem in this so I give him one more thing you know this is 160 so if you try to draw it here what will be this if this is 160 this will be 80 and we know I have told you here only cyclic quadrilateral make a sum of 180 so opposite angle make a sum of 180 so if this is 80 here we will get 180 sum so this will be obviously 100 degree now the last point if two equal chords are there A, B and C, D they are equal so the distance of these two chords from the center will be equal means AM will be equal to AN but when when the chords are equal and vice versa if the distance of two chords from the center are equal then we can say the chords are also equal these are the basic concept which I had explained you in this so I try to cover all the aspects only in this video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching my video thank you